Invertebrates make up more than 90% of all living things on this planet. And one of the most intelligent of them all is the octopus. These boneless animals are unique in appearance with their bulbous heads, large eyes and eight explorative arms. At Ushaka Marine World, the staff are quite aware of the superior intellect of this typically solitary animal. They are extremely intelligent animals. Some scientists have even proven that octopus have individual um, personalities and being fortunate enough to work in the aquarium with these animals, um, I can very well say that that is true. It's feeding time and the octopus knows it. As soon as Jose appears at the water's edge, he investigates. But he is more interested in a new toy in the water. Octopus has quite amazing arms. Um, two thirds of their neurons are situated in the octopus's arms, which means that they can pretty much solve problems with their arms while the head is busy looking for a nice new cave to stay in or possibly looking for something else to feed on. So that is pretty amazing. Every arm is lined with two rows of sucker cups. And it's with these agile arms that the octopus does everything. They grope for prey under rocks and crevices and the suckers latch onto food. Because they are naturally inquisitive and have the ability to retain short and long-term memory, the team has stimulation and enrichment programs in place. Today, he'll get his food in the form of a memory game. Three colored balls are attached to three different trapdoors. The orange ball in the middle is the only one with food. But it looks like his attention is diverted by something else. And he's off once again to investigate our camera. It's very difficult to film how clever an octopus is if it keeps covering the lens. Luckily for us, he loses interest and returns to the ball game. Octopuses quickly learn how to solve problems through trial and error. Once they have solved a particular problem, they will easily solve it again. From experience, he knows he needs to pull on the balls and he also recognizes the correct one holding the food. And his reward? A big, juicy mussel. Their favorite diet is basically consists of crustaceans. They have a parrot-like beak, the octopus, so a very sharp, small beak. And it's also interesting that they have venomous saliva and they'll actually, once they bite their prey, that will subdue them and then they can eat the food. But Mr. Intellect over here is in a playful mood. He finds the orange ball more interesting than the muscle. Once something is in his grip, he won't let go easily. This is how he pulls muscles and clams from rocks. An octopus will usually eat in its lair. Discarded shells and remains litter the outside of the lair and are called middens. This is usually their giveaway in the wild, as they can be very difficult to spot if they are not moving. And that's probably their most amazing characteristic. They can change color and texture in a flash to blend in with their surrounds. Look at the texture of the skin on the head. Let's watch that again. It's almost alien-like. For the next puzzle, food is placed in a jar. The octopus must unscrew the jar to get to the prawn inside. But this octopus is not a happy customer. He keeps pushing the jar away. He clearly does not want it. It. 
Is this maybe what an octopus tantrum looks like? But what if the prawn is taken out of the jar? He is still not interested. Well, it's a free country, and if one doesn't feel like prawns, then so be it. So our octopus definitely all have different personalities. Um, some are quite funny characters. They, some really enjoy playing. Others shy away a bit more. Um, yeah, they do have their preferred things that they prefer to do when it comes to doing different enrichments with the octopus. Jose is back, and this time with some crab. And it looks like there's some interest in our camera. But the smell of crab diverts his attention soon enough, and this time he takes the jaw eagerly from Jose. Once again, the sucker cups will do all the work. He can either unscrew the jaw or pull the cap right off. Look how different parts of the arms do different work. The suckers at the bottom of the arms hold the octopus in place, while those around the jaw pull down and the ones on the lid pull up. Octopuses can pull with a force four times their own body weight. So this one has exerted a force of about 10 kilograms. Once the jaw is opened, the dexterous arms quickly find the crab inside. That gets passed onto the mouth, while the tips of his tentacles make sure there's no juicy bits left. And the most amazing thing is that this octopus has learned all of this in less than six months. We are fortunate enough that on the reef just outside of Ashaka, there are plenty of octopus. So we like to change them over, we'll collect an animal, we'll keep them on display for a period and then release them again. This octopus is at the end of its six month stint at Ushaka. It's a privilege to get a glimpse of the intelligence of these underwater wonders. Especially if one thinks that this animal's brain is only the size of a walnut. Truly remarkable. <laughs>